Uh, hi guys, in this session we will be learning the um, formatting the visual so I will cover how to format the visual so suppose I want to get the subtotal and the total so I will go just here you know options and I will select show subtotal for rows so I am getting the subtotal for rows ok same way if I want the total for rows the total sum of all the rows I am getting over here ok fine so in this way I got subtotal and the total subtotal of all the three regions all the two regions all the three regions and the final the total ok so another formatting is that if uh, I want the like I want to change the layout like a little bit uh, bigger text okay if I want to rename the column heading so I can do directly from here I'll just go to settings and if I want this sales summary report it's in medium so if I want large then yes large so I'll go to styling styling I'm having all the all of all this uh, text in the medium format font so I'll go I'll just select large so large large subtotal also large fine I got this kind of visual little bit large larger text okay so now if I want to change the uh, this column name so like I'm having uh, sorry row name row name item suppose so whatever name you can give you can give suppose I'm giving item so just like this region area okay let's see item sold region area same way you can change this also unit unit cost okay then suppose total sum if I want just like this I gave yes you can see over here I didn't touch this part so it is same okay but I don't want in the same so this way and it will directly save on it's auto save on whatever the changes we have made it will directly auto save because it is in auto save mode on if you want to do anything which uh, you, you don't want auto save on if you want auto save off then you can go with that okay you know need not to like always save on save on it will automatically get save on fine so suppose in this uh, pane uh, you are getting different options like parameters okay in this parameters what is if you want to create any kind of parameters for this visual for your dashboard you can directly create over here and then pass that parameter to the filter okay fine already I have created this uh, uh, two filters so I'll explain that so suppose in the filter part let's come to the filter part if I want to show only few items selected items so I'll create a new filters for you I as I already created here but I'll create a new filters item okay I'll go here it's having drop down filter list custom filter all these I'll explain in, in the next coming videos so for that I'm using filter list all the item names I'm having so if I want to like um, have only binder or pen okay and then apply see I'm having only binder and pen okay no the other one but as we require all the things so just apply fine.
same way you can also do go with the region so region same way I'll use filter list central suppose I want to concentrate over the central then apply I'm having only central fine this way filter works you can add as many as filters you can if you want so till then bye bye please subscribe this channel to support okay guys bye bye